Living Local Carolina with Katie Turner. Local trends, shopping, dining, and more. This is Living Local Carolina. Well, thanks for joining us today on Living Local Carolina. I'm Katie Turner, and I'm joined in studio with Coach Shanice. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Absolutely. So let's talk about what you do. You're a coach. What does that mean, really? Um, so I am a coach, yes. First, I'm a health coach, so I help people get healthy. Um, I own a business that's called Glow Up Wellness, and what we do is transform people's lives through nutrition. All right, how'd you get into this field in the first place? We all have a story, you know? <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, I decided one day that I needed to lose some weight. Okay. Um, I had hit a wall and I thought I need to change my life, and I did. Um, I decided to you know, eat healthier, do some more working out, things like that. Um, and it kind of led to a passion about it. So I'm mm -hmm. like, if I can do this, I ended up losing over 80 pounds. Wow. Yeah, I said, anybody can do it if I can do it. So I decided to help people do it as well. I think a big hurdle for a lot of people is motivation and kind of knowing where to start when you're not educated on the subject. How do you approach that with people? So two things, baby steps is the first one. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we look at the larger shiny goal and when we embark on the journey, we kind of so far from that that it gets discouraging. But if you know to take the small step in front of you, if you keep doing that, you'll get to the larger goal. And also motivation only gets us started. It's the discipline that keeps us going. So part of my coaching is helping people develop that discipline. Is it rewarding to see people actually, you know, shed the pounds, feel more confident? Seriously, I mean, I've had people lose 60 plus pounds, wow. even 30 plus, like if you lose a pound, I am like a cheerleader rooting for you. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yes. Love it. So we hear a lot about, is it diet, is it exercise, is it a combo of both in your field? Like, what do you think? It's totally a combination of both, but one does weigh out the other. Um, yeah, so if you are looking to, well, get healthier, but specifically lose weight, it's 75 to 80% what you eat, what you put in your body mm. versus 20 to 25% of what you actually do with your body. That's interesting. Yeah. I always heard the abs were made in the kitchen. Well, they can be. They start right. in the kitchen. <laughs> All right. Well, can you give us some tips, you know, for people that are interested in starting? Sure. So like I said, just first, you should do a wellness evaluation with me. Um, I take a peek into what your life looks like on an mm -hmm. average day. And I nitpick kind of what small changes you can make to see really big results if you stay consistent there. Um, I also do 21 day challenges to support people to mm. uh, stay consistent. So you stay close to me for 21 days, you get all these resources, you get so many tips and tricks, you get to hear other people's stories. Um, and that's mm -hmm. what helps people, that's what helped me, even myself, to stay committed and to keep seeing the results that I really want to see. Um, but yeah, so do those baby steps. And then um, when you need help and you realize you can't do it on your own, seek help. You know, we seek help when we are struggling in certain areas. Mm -hmm. Don't hesitate to seek help when you're also trying to like lose weight or get healthy as well. For somebody with a really busy schedule, how do you work around that as a coach? So one of the things I love about my journey is that my life has progressively gotten aggressively busy. <laughs> <laughs> I have two small children, I've gotten married, and I moved cross country in the past four years. Wow. So I totally understand busy. <laughs> um, and so I personally love to work with busy people because I have that experience. Um, and we, sometimes we look and we see different sections of where we can find a little bit of time to work out, you know, where we might have no, not normally seen it or where we can find space in the budget to eat a little healthier. Some people say it's expensive, but we'll look at your budget and we'll see, you know, how we can find space to actually afford um, what, you, what you need in order to be a little bit healthier. That's a holistic approach now. <laughs> I'm, I'm with it. That's the whole point of what I do um, because one mold does not fit everybody. We have different lifestyles. We have different mm -hmm. things about us. We have different ticks and triggers and like, oh, we have love different foods. And I, my goal <laughs> is to look at people's lives individually and provide a personalized plan. Love it. So if somebody's interested in getting connected with you and getting started, how can they do that? Um, the easiest place to find everything that I do would be linktree.com slash healthcoachniece. You can, you'll find out information about my 21 day challenges. You can join my walking club, um, all of those things right there, healthcoachniece on Linktree.
We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. The following portion of Living Local Carolina is sponsored by Wheelchair and Scooter of Myrtle Beach. Well, I'm back with Bill at Wheelchair and Scooter of Myrtle Beach today. We have some really fun stuff to look at today. I'm we, excited. We do, we do. We get to actually show some products today. So. All right, let's do it. All right. Um, what do you want to start with? We'll start right here. One of these, uh, this is uh, a very popular folding power chair. Uh, the folding stuff's getting pretty popular out there. Um, this one is, in my opinion, one of the better ones. It literally has one release lever right here on the back, <gasps> and it folds up, and that's your uh, that's your chair right there. Dude, I've seen beach chairs that are harder to fold than that. <laughs> so, and, th and this one, the way it sits right now is right at 40 pounds. So Not bad at all. It's one of the lighter ones. This one's actually, uh, you can actually tell it's got a lot of carbon fiber on it. Um, that's how they get it as light as they do. So carbon fiber, really strong, lightweight material. And so. this is controlled by a little joystick, so. Yep. And uh, unfolded, it just goes like that. Gotta love that. There's your joystick right there for your controls. Uh, pretty so simple to cool. use. And we have some others back here that we're gonna take a look at as well. We do, we do. We've got a couple scooters. Um, these two back here, um, we have your, your foldable scooter and then your standard scooters that disassemble. A lot of people are intimidated uh, by the disassembly scooters, but they're really not that hard. Um, pretty simple on these. Your seats come off. Oh, wow. <laughs> your battery pack comes right out. There's a release lever. Your two pieces come You're apart, <laughs> just like that. So pretty simple. Your bing, baskets bing, can come off and your handlebars fold right down just like that. So. I'm going to be honest, I was not expecting him to be able to do all that that quickly. Yep. Quick and easy. All right, so you guys really have a little bit of something for everyone. You have the foldable chairs, the scooters, and ramps as well, right? Yes, we do. We have uh, we offer lifts and ramps, uh, the ramps for the home access to be able to get in and out of your home. And we also have the lifts if the scooters are a little bit too heavy for somebody to transport. We do offer you know the sale and um, installation of the ramp or the lifts on the vehicles. Love it. So if somebody wants to stop by the store, you can come try out one of these scooters, see everything you guys offer, where are you guys located, and where can they find you online? We are at 10764 Highway 707 in Myrtle Beach. Um, you can find us on our Facebook page uh, or you know on our website. This portion of Living Local Carolina was sponsored by Wheelchair and Scooter of Myrtle Beach. Well, thanks so much for joining us today on Living Local Carolina. Today, I am joined in the studio with Charles from Long Bay Symphony. How are you doing? Just fine, thanks. Awesome. Okay, tell everybody a little bit about what you do. Well, I'm the music director of the Long Bay Symphony, which is this region's professional orchestra. And, I, you know, it's funny because as much as we've been around, I think, gosh, it's, uh, and now I can't remember exactly, is our 36th, 37th season? Wow. Um, they're going to kill me in the office for not remembering the exact <laughs> year. But uh, we've been around a while, but for a cultural institution, it's not that long. And since people are, you know, it's so transient, people are constantly moving into this area from, mm -hmm. from primarily the Northeast or the Charlotte area or wherever. And it's amazing how, in spite of all we do, people don't know they have a professional symphony orchestra in town. Yeah. So we do, of course, our, our traditional uh, subscription concerts, classical things, uh, and try to make that as varied as possible using, you know, ballet dancers and, you know, all, just as much variety as we can. But our biggest uh, thrust over the past several years has been to do uh, more diverse programming and more outreach. So we, we've done things like uh, the New Year's Eve concert that we do and a gala. Uh, to, of course, Messiah performances in December. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, a Gullah to Gospel program involving a mass yeah. gospel choir in March. Uh, we've done patriotic war and peace concerts for the past several years over Veterans Day weekend. And so, we, you know, we're just uh, out there in the community reaching all segments uh, mm -hmm. of the community with a lot of those concerts being free, sponsored by the Chapin Foundation and other organizations. So. That's kind of our mission, is to be out there and be a part of this community. And it's amazing, invariably after a concert, I'll have someone come up to me and say, oh, this was amazing. I had no idea we had a professional orchestra in this area. Who would Which is thought? sort of why I'm here today. Yeah, we're <laughs> spreading the word. Yeah, yeah. And these are talented musicians that yeah. deserve to, you know, right. well, get that, some spotlight I think on them. Our musicians basically play in orchestras throughout the region in the South Carolina Philharmonic, uh, Wilmington, uh, Charleston, you know, all of, all of the general area, and they just travel. A lot of them are professors at universities or, you know, 
So it's, um, you just go where the activity is. I love it. We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us today on Living Local Carolina. One thing I love about this show is I get to have a lot of firsts. And today I have, for the first time ever, a tattoo artist yes. in the studio. Hello. Jerrica, how are you doing today? I'm well, thank you for having me. Okay, we've been talking for a little bit and you obviously are a tattoo artist. We're gonna talk about that, mm -hmm. but you just are an artist in general. Right, right. How did you first get into the arts in the um, first place? So first, it started, you know, back in fourth grade, I was, you know, a child and I started dabbling in just drawings and doodles and I realized I was pretty good. I tried to impress a few people and they loved the <laughs> feedback from yeah. me giving them like art drawings and gifts. And so from there, it stuck with me all the way to adulthood. Yeah. And now that's just like my career. That's what drives me. That's where I am. Yeah, I can tell that you're very passionate about this. Yes. So where where did the tattooing begin? So I started off background gra graphic design, mm -hmm. graduated for, uh, you know, two, did two years, associates and bachelors for graphic design work. But after college, I wasn't really into, you know, the the professional corporate business type where I'm more of like, mm -hmm. a, 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 you know, freelance, more of like a um, laid back type of artist. So I kind of wanted something that was more hands on, but not so, you know, um, pro like, professional and direct and corporate. So I wanted to transfer that and my energy into, you know, tattooing. People love my work and they want it on their body. So I was like, let me try that. You know, after yeah. college, I was like, let me channel that, see if I can get into it. And I just started, you know, dealing with mentor, getting, doing my research, getting classes and getting certified to become an artist. Yeah, <laughs> it's gotta be a little daunting at first. It is, it was very know? scary. Very scary because you know people. This is this is li life lasting. People, it's on people's yeah. skin, and you want it to be great. You want your artwork to what you can do on paper to reflect on skin. So that's the where the transition comes in. It's kind of hard trying to master that, but you know if you can do it once you can and you know you can draw once you master that and you get the technique down, it, it's like butter. So yeah, that's so <laughs> cool. It's got to be really satisfying too to be able to see everyone's reaction yes, to it. Yes. Do you have a specific style? Doesn't every tattoo artist they have a do, specific and style? Honestly, yeah, they do. Honestly, um, tattoo artists do like to stick to a style. They like to see what they master or what they do better in. But mm -hmm. me, I wanted to go into this business not being put in a box. I hate being in a box. Like, yeah. you're not going to just come to me for black and gray or traditional. I like to do everything. So I definitely have tried to work on, I have a wide variety of styles that I try to work on and I perfect everything. So from typography to I love doing portraits. Ooh, I love tough. color pieces. I love color. Anything Ooh. with color. I'm a colorful person. So I try to encourage my clients to get color. Yeah. And then, you know, just from there, they just try to, you know, we bounce ideas back and forth and I try to be as creative as possible. I love <laughs> it. I love it. And talking about creativity here, you do stuff outside of mm -hmm. tattooing as well. Yes. Can you tell people what else you're, what, mm -hmm. what are you up to? So right now, up, um, this last uh, past year, I've been dealing with um, mixed media. So doing canvas pieces mm. and going to pop up art shows in different states to sell and be a part of these art shows. You know what I'm saying? So I've been doing um, 3D art things that have uh, textures and layers. And I've been playing with uh, epoxy resin that people are Very familiar cool, with. Yes. So with that, it allows me to have um, these pieces that should be in like an exposition or, but I'm selling them so they can have it in their houses and keep it as pieces and remember you guys. So, and they're large canvases, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? They're not small, they're like, you know, wall pieces. Yeah. And then also uh, this year I am channeling into doing flooring, epoxy resin flooring and like so countertops cool. for like businesses and houses. So anything dealing with epoxy resin, I try to get my craft into that a little better and, you know, perfect that so I can see where that goes. Yeah, you can do a little <laughs> bit of everything. Right, I try to. Not, love it. I try to be a jack of all trades. I love it. Okay, <laughs> how can people get in contact with you, learn a bit more okay. about you? Yeah, yeah, so um, I do have a social media as well. I'm on many platforms, um, Instagram, that is at uh, official underscore tatted by Jerry. And then I advertise on Facebook, tatted by Jerry. Um, and then also I have, uh, you know, email jsgraphics93 at gmail.com. And then I do have my business 
this line, you know, my phone number. Did you want that as well? Yeah, so sure, 843-534-7434. Sure. And that's, that's all my information there. Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I appreciate you having me today. Don't forget to like our page on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. How to use the QR code. Just open the camera app on your smartphone, iPad, or tablet. Point your device at the QR code so the QR code appears on your screen. Your device will recognize the QR code and show you a notification. Click that notification and you'll come to our website. Living Local Carolina, weekday mornings at 9.30 on WBTW News 13.